Hey guys, um, so today is an exciting day. Um, we are going to pick our very first pumpkins for the 2019 pumpkin season. Um, I'm gonna start here, actually. We missed it, but we um, picked one um, down in the um, pumpkin stand. We picked a white Lumina already this morning. Um, the kids were really excited to do it, and so I said, go ahead, go pick it. So um, we have that one done, and um, now I'm gonna, now that it's warm um, and sunny, I'm gonna go and start in the cow pasture or horse pasture and pick these ones, um, whatever's ripe right now. These ones have just grown like crazy. The plants are so healthy. So um, I'm gonna get started on these. Um, well, it's nice out. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna cut it as far up as possible. Pull it out. And there we go. How crazy is that? So we have a basket of Jack B. Littles in all different sizes that are ready to go. Um, gotta wash that one. Um, and then price them and then they'll be ready for the stand. That guy is gonna be, so far from what I can see, the first red turban that's gonna be ready, but it's not quite ready yet. The top will get even darker than that, but it, you can see that it's getting pretty red already. Oh, and now this one's gonna be nice and bright. But, um, so that one is gonna be the first one so far. This can be ready, it's got a few more days yet though. That guy is turning orange. He's looking awesome. Oh, look at that. How cool. That looks great. Oh, that's exciting. I'll turn it. Oh, I can't turn it. It's too stiff on the stem. Man, that looks cool. So a lot of these guys, the stems are um, hard, but I'm gonna let them go another day or two. Um, some of them are still just have a touch of green on them, so I wanna try to let them go even longer. Um, but I'm not quite ready to have them set up in the booth yet. So um, I'm picking the ones that are ripe now and that I need to take pictures for. Um, and I'm taking as many pictures as I can for the website for the online ordering and then um, getting getting some of the stuff so that like the small ones those take forever to price and all that kind of stuff so um, get getting those ready um, and giving some other ones um, another few days yet see if they can get a little bit bigger um, see if they can get a little more intense in their color um, but we have a lot that are ready um, and they should be, we should have a good, good variety for the pumpkin season. So that, that's a good feeling. Ones here that are looking great. They're done early. Um, I love it. I'm definitely going to do a field of these guys next year. Um, I looked it up yesterday what they were and I will insert that name here. Um, they, they all are doing great. They're producing great. There's multiple on every vine, and um, they held up so much better than the Connecticut field pumpkins did. Last one, and um, it just has a little tiny splash of green there. That should disappear, especially with the sun, that should disappear probably today yet. Looking great. There's more. So this is our first harvest for pumpkins for the 2019 um, growing season. And we have all sorts of awesome colors here. We've got some white, some cream, light yellow. This is the um, French pumpkin. So that's like a dark, almost red. 
Um, it's hard to tell with the sun being out, but you can see this is a red basket. Um, and so it's very close. It's in between these two colors. And then we just have an assortment of sizes and colors up there. We have some large ones. These are the Jack B. Littles. Um, a large Jack B. Little in a light orange or yellowy. Then we got some tiny ones. Um, that's a white or cream colored tiny one. There's a yellow tiny one. Um, so we have, we're, we're getting there. It's awesome. This is more variety, more color than I had last year. Um, and so it's an awesome feeling and it feels like this is a good start to the 2019 pumpkin season. So we have a great start on um, the pumpkin harvest. And right now um, we'll get these guys cleaned off and then um, get them priced and we'll put them in a cool place until um, we are ready to put the rest of the stuff in the stand. And um, now we're gonna go pick some corn to dry since it's nice and warm out. We're gonna pick some corn to dry and um, try to make some corn stuff. Do you dry them before you sell them? Yep. How do you do that? So we'll take and we'll um, hang these upside down and they will dry and as they will dry fairly quick since they won't be in the ground. I'm thinking of maybe hanging them in the high tunnel so it's warmer. Yeah, that may make it go a little faster. What do people use them for? Just decoration. Okay, so I'm gonna take this um, and bunch it up, get the weeds out of it. I'm gonna bunch it up and then cut it. And then we're gonna dry these as well. Um, and sell them for people for home decor. Maybe we'll do this one while I'm at it too, huh? Just like that. Kill the snapweed, huh? That won't kill it. That make sneaky. it come back stronger, huh? Yep. Okay. We have a whole bunch of this stuff. I don't know what it is, but we have a whole bunch of this and um, we have the box on the four-wheeler full and then we have like enough corn stalks to make three or four good bundles. Um, so we're gonna go now and we're gonna hang these up and dry them so that we can put them in the stand. Okay, so to bundle these up so that I can dry them, um, hang them and dry them, I'm taking a piece of twine and I am tying a loop in the end. This is just how we bundle um, our firewood too. So I'm just doing it just on a smaller scale. So I'm just doing a knot and um, at the end so that I have a hoop, a nice snug loop at the end. So then I'm taking You can tie a loop in the other end as well, and then that makes it a little bit easier when you're stringing them up because you can just take a rope or twine or whatever and just run it right through all of them and just have them all hanging up. So that is how I am bundling these so that I can get them to dry. Now I gotta hurry up and finish the rest of these before um, the chickens come over and try to eat everything. 
I think that putting them in the stone coop, um, it's too humid in there. Um, it just, it seems kind of stuffy, but we are going to be getting some severe weather tonight, um, potential of tornadoes and all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to hang them in the stone coop. I'm thinking that I will, um, when the storms are over, I'll put them in the high tunnel because it has more, um, air circulation and, um, it's not getting warm. I mean, it's not, it's today hit 72. So it's been pretty cool. So it's not like it's going to be a hundred degrees with the high humidity in there. So, um, I'm thinking that I'll put them in stone coop till it dries out. And once um, the storms are over, then I will put them um, in the high tunnel and that should make them dry out faster. Ooh, look at that. Got them all on one load. And that's it for the day. We got um, a lot of stuff done. We got our first pumpkins picked. We have um, corn, uh, corn stalks cut and drying. We have the decorative grasses cut and drying. And um, we have pictures of the pumpkins. We are getting our website up and running so that we can um, do online checkout. And so I even got um, price tags and labels um, pretty much finalized. And so we, I feel like we've got a lot done today. Um, so that's it for, for everything here. We did, we did a lot. Um, and thanks for joining. Thanks for tuning in. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe. We greatly appreciate it.